Japanese government has uh, pledged 1 trillion shillings for infrastructure development in Africa. The country will also lobby for Africa to get a permanent seat at the United Nations Security Council. These are some of the announcements made earlier today during the opening ceremony of the Tokyo International Conference on Africa and Development that's ticket 6 here in Nairobi. The mid-morning function was attended by heads of state and government officials, donor agencies and private sector representatives. Now, during the opening session, it also emerged that African countries need to pull together and implement the Africa we want, which is a developmental roadmap set out by the African Union. This, according to the AU, will help spur intra-Africa trade and position Africa to trade with the rest of the world. The Japanese government push for infrastructure is also poised to aid in the trade connectivity of African nations. In our engagements with the UN system, we are working together to ensure that we have joint implementation and monitoring of sustainable development goals and Agenda 2063. This approach must also characterize our partnership, including TCAT, so that we focus on those priorities critical to the transformation of our continent. It as an opportunity to help advance Africa. That was what was in my mind, and hence brought forth was the motive, quality and empowerment. Under the same motive, the G7 summit also emphasized that the key to empowering Africa rests in the provision of health care. Africa is blessed with vast, untapped resources of renewable energy. New technologies are both reducing the cost and making them easier to harness. Given the scale of resources needed, increased private investment in infrastructure will be essential. We are facing and suppressing terrorist groups here in Kenya, driven in this purpose by target improvements of our security services and a strategic push to build preventative and counter-radicalization tools. We have also sharply increased our collaboration with neighbors and allies and to sustain this effort and destroy existing terrorist groups, this is going to demand even more effort in this direction. 